I think where the biggest opportunities are, in my, in my opinion, mm -hmm. is marketing, mm -hmm. right? So marketing, it's all about data, it's all about making efficient use of it, and most than anything else, really being faster of your competition and using that data as well. Where AI gets really powerful is that personalization. As you understand how people change over time, uh, both every year as well as over their lifetime, you can make predictions, you can correlate, uh, you can essentially uh, understand uh, them better and hence market better to them. So there is no point of going after the same customer who had made the big purchase, you know, in the last quarter, right? You want to be able to understand, you know, what is the highest return on investment. I think we're actually seeing that shift from just simple statistical models and grouping people into trying to do predictive journeys where we understand people who have gone through these couple of steps, their most likely next step is to maybe unsubscribe from your newsletter. So it's important that you're there uh, you know, in social media where your customers are. So understanding when they complain about something on Facebook or on Twitter uh, and mention your product, that you know how to interact with them. You know when to trigger a service case from seeing something on social media. Because we shouldn't forget that at the end, you know, a virtual agent still is the ambassador of a brand. And hopefully delighting somebody in your service case such that they go back to Twitter and say, wow, I, you know, my shoe had this problem and they immediately send me a replacement. This was an incredible interaction. You know, from, from marketing to customer support to sales and so on, right? It's all one value chain life cycle. The power of connecting marketing, sales and service all in one place that you have with a good CRM solution is, is incredible.